By now, most of you are familiar with the Planned Parenthood videos, either heard about them or perhaps even watched a few of them, where Planned Parenthood employees are talking about not only the aborting of human fetuses, but the selling and harvesting of the organs of those fetuses, what I think most of us would consider a barbaric act. Well, that has raised back into the national consciousness the issue of abortion, especially as it is a, a presidential election cycle. And there are individuals who think that, for example, some presidential candidates are extreme because they refuse to consider exceptions such as rape and incest as valid reasons to have an abortion where others are considered extreme because they're willing uh, to justify even late-term abortions, abortions that take place uh, when, the, when the fetus is at full term and uh, the mother is about to deliver. Uh, there are politicians, and this is kind of a pet peeve of mine, who even talk about how that, that uh, they personally abhor abortion but that they support the woman's right to choose to have an abortion. While some people think that the abortion issue is a rather nuanced one with those various exceptions to be considered, I would contend that it's absolutely not, that it's a very, very clear issue. And the question really revolves around this. Is that fetus a human being or is it not? Now, with regard to those politicians, the one who says, I, I personally abhor it, but I support the woman's right to choose. Well, why in the world, if the fetus is not a human, would we personally oppose it or find it abhorrent? After all, it wouldn't be any different than the removal of an appendix or a, or a gallbladder or some other medical procedure. However, if the human fetus is just that, a human being, a living human being in the womb, then that also would be absurd to say that, you know, I believe that the fetus is human life and yet I support the woman's right to take that human life, the, the woman or her doctor. That's an abhalling and abhorrent thing. Uh, certainly no one in, in their right minds would justify such an action. I think that the individuals who are supporting abortion are being very illogical. Uh, they will say, contend, that this may be a life in potential, but the fetus is not human life. Not human life, and yet they are actively advocating the harvesting of the organs of the fetus for the purpose of human research, research on human diseases and, and those kinds of things. How can the, the fetus not be human and yet the organs be human? It makes no sense. The Bible informs my belief that the human fetus is actually a living child. In passages such as Luke chapter 1 and verse 41 and Psalm 139 verses 13 and 14. In Luke 1, Elizabeth, who is pregnant with John the Baptist, meets with Mary, who has just learned that she is pregnant with Jesus, the Son of God. We are told in verse 41 that it happened when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary that the babe leaped in her womb. The babe, a human child, leaped in her womb. The psalmist described himself as a child. He said, you formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well. I would also point out that there is only one logical place where we can say that life begins and that's at the point of conception. From that point on, it's simply a matter of incubation and development until that child takes its first breath of air as it leaves the mother's womb. Now, some may take issue with that and say you can't be sure as to where human life begins. And so if that is the case and we consider that it might begin at conception or it might begin a bit later on, the question arises, who are we to make the decision as to when life begins, and as such, who are we to make the decision that it has not yet begun? God told Job way back in antiquity in Job 40 and verse 9, Have you an arm like God, or can you thunder with a voice like His? 
If we determine that it is not at the point of conception, that it's at some other time, then what we are doing is putting ourselves in the place of God in making that determination as to who is alive, who is human, and who is not. How puny are we? We shake our fist at God and rail against Him and say that we are the ones who will determine and be the arbiter of who lives and who does not live, when life begins and when it does not. That's impotent pride. And one day, in that final day of judgment, we will come to know just how misguided and how self-destructive that pride of man truly is.